Hello, Toronto! Hi! Oh my gosh, y'all look hot. Gorgeous! I see you in every corner, all the way, even further than I can see, my gosh. Thank you for turning up for your community, for Pride! Oh my gosh, welcome to the hottest Pride party in the entire world. Yes, I'm so happy to be back here at Green Space. This is my third time. I love it so much. And this Pride is so special to me because when my partner Johnny is backstage and 13 years ago, we celebrated our first Pride together right here on this block. Um, I bought my first pair of drag lashes on the street outside and had a lady install them on my completely no makeup face and he still wanted me. <laughs> that is what this season is all about. Being young, dumb, gay and figuring out who the hell you are through many glorious missteps. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> Of course, the most important part of Pride, the gay agenda. You've heard about the gay agenda. It's our commitment to freedom for all people, which requires each and every one of us to fight for social change, to take direct action to support each and every person in our many intersecting communities and constantly be asking ourselves if we've got it right, and we usually haven't, so we gotta give ourselves a little makeover. Isn't that right? That's what makes Green Space so special. It's not just a party. It's a party with a cause. And that's even sexier. So every drink, every donation, every penny raised over the next five days will go to support the 519 Your Community Center. So buy a drink for your community. Donate for your community. Hook up for your community. Get sloppy for your community. Get turned up, party, act a fool. Just take care of yourselves and each other. The 519 is Canada's largest 2S LGBTQ community center. They support hundreds of thousands of people every year. Over the past year, over 10,000 LGBTQ refu refugees turned to the 519 for support. Can we just think about that number for a second? 10,000 people turning up here to have their lives saved. That's more than twice as many people as are here right now. People who rely on this building and the incredible people in it for their safety, for a chance at a better life. Queer and trans people know how important it is that we have space where we can come together, where we can find community, where we can find each other, and through each other, find ourselves. In the 519's trans-specific programming, there is trans-youth-oriented programming where people can finally feel safety to flourish as they are and meet other people like them. There's name change services, there's meals available to all, there's job training, counseling, there's just community. The 519 does all this work every day and so much more. They can't do it without your help, without all of our help. So that's what Green Space gets to do today. Listen, we know this work is more important. We know there's been a rise in hate and bigotry. Screw that. It's a small, pathetic backlash from a dying worldview that wants people to feel shame and fear over something totally natural and good for the world. But it's a small, pathetic, dying backlash that is extremely well-funded. And as a result, they can do serious damage and we need to rise up and gather our resources and work together to keep pushing back and pushing forward into a better world. We are here, and to quote my Canadian drag sister, Priyanka, we aren't going anywhere. We're standing tall because of countless people, generations who came before us and refused to take shit. They knew they had to be loud. They knew they had to fight back. They knew that pride would be a protest, but that it would be worth it. 
in the name of a better future. Hello. Oh, it's a really awkward moment right now. I just started to host Pride in Toronto. Can I call you back? Okay, thank you. Even though drag dabbles in illusion, it's the fact that we're all human beings underneath and the glorious possibility of genuine unplanned imperfection at every turn that makes us love this art form. Oh my God, not now, please! Uh, why? Why? <clears throat> because of its non-binary nature. Drag is perfectly set up to capture the imperfections of our world. We reach for the stars and then we panic at the last minute. We promise to support each other and then we get jealous and destructive. We bring revolution and then police it or offer it up for sale. We have the best intentions, but like everyone else, we sometimes make the worst choices. We're human. Drag is turning all that personal chaos into an art form, allowing yourself just to live in a way that is as absurd, as fucked up, as utterly sublime as everybody else. By just being here today, you are participating in a critical lifeline for our community to keep living just as we are, to keep making mistakes, to keep reaching new heights. You are participating in good work that carries us forward. Thank you to each and every one of you for showing up today and every day. Thank you, Toronto, for being one of the best queer cities in the world. And thank you to The 519 for making queer magic happen every day of the year and for centering their drag artists on Pride. We have an iconic lineup of drag artists about to grace this stage. Are you excited? Well then, let's get on with the show. Oh my God. Hello, hello, baby, you come back your whole thing. I have got no service in the club, you say, say. Hello? Hello? Yes? Who is this? <laughs> you tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. I don't think so. Boo, you whore. Hello? Mr. Liggett, I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to call today after last night, but since you have... Face it! I was the slut of all time! Snap out of it! You love to make me hit you! It is wonderful! You deliberately embarrass me in front of a reporter! This is Alexis Nyers calling. I'm calling to let you know how disappointed I am in your story. There's many things that I read in here that were false. Like you saying that I wore six inch Louboutin heels to court with my tweed skirt when I wore four inch little brown BB shoes. What you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue. It's not turquoise, it's not lapis, it's actually cerulean. She's not a Christian! She is dark sided too! I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't enjoy hurting anybody. But sometimes people just won't listen. And so I have to use persuasion. Leave Benny alone! Please! I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this! I hated her so much it it the it flame flames flames you're a virgin who can't drive you're lucky she even performed for you bastard don't you swear at me you little shit don't you ever 
Raise your voice at me. I am your mother. Why can't you give me the respect that I'm entitled to? Barbara, please. Please, Barbara. Please, these gays are trying to murder me. Barbara, please. I feel groggy and weary and tragic. Punchy and bleary and fresh out of magic, but alive, but alive, but alive. Hello? Oh, the psinka you heard. It's, it's an homage. I put my own spin on it. What's that? You give me your complete permission? Thank you. This kaleidoscope of feelings whirls around inside my brain. I admit I'm slightly cuckoo, but it's dull to be too sane. And I feel brilliant and brash and bombastic. Limp as a puppet and simply fantastic, but alive. But alive. But alive. Ah! Hello, operator. I don't know what's the matter with this telephone tonight, but it's positively driving me crazy. I've never seen such inefficient, miserable service. Now, 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 look. I'm an invalid, and I'm very nervous, and I'm not supposed to be annoyed. But if this keeps on much longer... What seems to be the trouble, please? Well, everything's wrong. I haven't had one bit of satisfaction out of one call I've made this evening. The whole world could be murdered for all you people care. And now, now, my phone keeps ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing every five seconds or so. And when I pick it up, there's no one there. I'm sorry. If you will hang up, I will try to check the trouble for check you. Check it, check it. That's all anybody can do. Oh, what's the use of talking to you? You're stupid. <laughs> Hello. Hello, it's me I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me. Why are you such a mega bitch? Hello from the other side I must have called a thousand times Nancy Joe. This is Alexis Nyer calling. I'm calling to let you know how disappointed I am in your story and the life that you shed on me when I am going through such a hard time in my life. I opened up to you so that way the world could potentially know what a great, amazing, talented, strong, healthy girl that I am. Not even a girl, young woman. Have a nice life, goodbye. All I ever wanted was a ballerina Barbie. I was 10. And do you know what they got me? Malibu Barbie. That's not what I wanted. That's not who I was. I was a ballerina. Graceful, delicate. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. You have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of line. It's too hard. It's too contradictory. And nobody gives you a medal or says thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. Now, if any of you sons of bitches Got anything else to say? Now's the fucking time! And I feel brilliant!